My name is Adam Dale. I'm the community director here at Bow Square in Southampton. Bow Square is um, Southampton's first build to rent development. Residents here, they have the benefit of having the gym, uh, the lounge, the kitchen area, uh, and also we have specific home office spaces just behind me, meeting rooms, and all of these. Uh, effectively, um, they're inclusive of their tenancy. They're spaces that they can enjoy, the garden as well, the barbecues. So it's not just a set of keys that you would normally get in a rental property. We're also one of the first pet-friendly developments in the city. The office that we're sat in here is manned six days a week on site, so if you live upstairs, if you're one of our residents and you have an issue, you've just got to come downstairs and we'll sort it out for you. I've lived at Bow Square, I think a little over a year now, actually like 14 months here. Bow Square's probably the nicest place I've lived, hands down, by a long margin. <laughs> we have two pets living with myself and my partner, um, two cats, the oldest called Asker, and the youngest called Cat Lisi. Some of the highlights of living here definitely would be that some of the like activities they put on, the parties for like opening the communal spaces. Recently I was allowed to use the lounge area here for a, an activity for my friends, so which isn't something I've had access to in previous places I've lived. Um, that was definitely a really nice perk. The way the building's been designed is to enable people to build community. So the gym is obviously a really big social space, people work out together. We have boot camps that we pay for, they can come down and just do those classes. Um, and we also have the lounge area, the kitchen area, so pool table where people will build relationships with other residents around them. Not everybody's a pet fan, right? Not everybody likes dogs. So there are certain areas that we don't allow pets to go in. For example, the lounge. The lounge is a pet-free zone. And the reason being is if somebody doesn't like them, they won't come face to face with them. If they have allergies, it's not going to stop them from enjoying that space. I think what we tend to appeal to here is a really broad demographic. We've got residents who are retired. They may not have family, but they still want companionship. That's why we like to kind of allow them to have their um, four-legged friends in as well. The uh, building management, they definitely put a lot of work into making everyone feel like we're part of a community, you know, the communal spaces, the activities, stuff like that. It uh, definitely feels like a very welcoming, inclusive place to live. My partner, before we moved in together, she was living in a place that wasn't exactly amazing, but she moved there because it was um, one of the few pet-friendly places she could find. Um, I was living in Brighton at the time, I couldn't find anywhere that was pet friendly and in my budget. So finding somewhere like this that was affordable, new, you know, high quality place and pet friendly was just a complete miracle really.